It's been a minute since I went live, but my god, we did it. And what a wonderful Hello. game to be returning to, Harold Halloween. Hello. More on that in a moment. First, I'm Sean Plott. And I'm Lee Grainer. And I am Sean Bouchard. Welcome back to Mostly Walking. We embark upon a new game. It's Harold Halibut, which has a little bit of an interesting history to it because this game, mm. everything is scanned claymation or scanned physical sets. And this game, mm. I believe the developers quit their jobs and started working on it 10 years ago. So they've been like building sets it's and wild. scanning them forever. Holy and shit. I originally saw this game when they did a Kickstarter that actually didn't succeed like seven years ago. I think it was like a 2017 or 2018 Kickstarter. Oof. And the yeah. visual style to it is mesmerizing. And I have been eager to see it get finished ever since. And I didn't know that it was still plodding along. I was really upset because I backed the Kickstarter and I was like, ah, oh, no, it's not going to pan out. But then I saw it at PC Gaming Show's Most Wanted. And apparently this is one of the top rated um, most wanted games among a lot of the developers and people who are there as members of the council. And so when I saw this was coming out, I was like, ah! So we didn't stream it uh, last week, but now it's this week and we're here and I'm thrilled. Hell so yeah. yeah. That's that's a little intro. Yeah. yeah and That's uh, really good. And I'm actually curious, um, as, as a bit of a tangent, are there games that either of you have been really excited for in life where you were just like, just counting down the days to when you could play it? generally i'm not that person yes but for this game i was a little bit that yeah I, lemmings uh on the snes really because uh, yeah because i was a uh, big nintendo power kid and mm -hmm. um was not a windows person so uh so nintendo power got me hyped through the roof for lemmings and i was having lemmings dreams where i was playing the game like, oh lucid. yeah ludic lucid dreams and it delivered it delivered the multiplayer <clears throat> pvp lemmings mode in that was unhinged it was so good there was, was just a, what i'll tell you how it worked i'll tell you how it worked oh, wait, split it, screen if i may briefly for those of you that don't know lemmings is a game where hundreds of character little creatures would spawn and just walk in a direction and they would walk right off the cliff and die unless you gave them little instructions like i want you to start building a staircase i want you to have an umbrella so you can float down but you could only assign one job for each dude and you had limited amounts of jobs you could assign so it was just kind of like managing the massive amount of chaos of the lemmings and now i'm ready to hear how this works in multiplayer it's multiplayer all right all right uh, this will this will tickle your pillow fight fancy as well, which okay. <laughs> I guess if people don't know if about you the don't game know pillow that fight, Lee and I worked on a game just called Pillow Fight, yeah. that's <laughs> yes. just just that's a good sentence. Um, yeah, but uh, imagine this, and you'll see why I love it. So, um, split screen, player one, you start with your your Lemmings origin point on the far left or whatever. Yeah. Uh, player two, you start with your Lemmings origin on the far right your destinations where you're trying to get lemmings and it can be either person's lemmings your goals are on the opposite <laughs> sides oh and you can you can give commands to your lemmings they can give commands to theirs oh and my it's god it's like it's really cute because the the player one lemmings are blue shirts green hair and then that's inverted for player two green shirts blue but hair. oh yeah this also means that like if you have the if you're in if you're ahead, then it also benefits you to just destroy all lemmings if you can find a way to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's, god, that's that's like whoever scores the first touchdown, your goal is to then destroy the football. <laughs> like that's incredible. That's so good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's no, I... really good, really chaotic. It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Sean, is there a title that you were really excited for coming out? A bunch. Definitely a whole bunch. But I feel like I, maybe I've told this story before. Um, when Phantasmagoria was announced, oh, I was yeah. a huge Sierra Online fan. And that was uh. Roberta Williams was going to be doing a sort of like massive new uh, FMV horror adventure game 
uh roberta williams we all know of course know and love uh and i was uh i was obsessed with it it was announced like way ahead of well maybe it was it was announced at some point and then the release date was pushed back and there there was no release date um it was just sort of like coming in the future so i um uh had memorized the (laughs) Uh, Sierra Online, like, customer service phone number. Yeah. Uh, and this was an era in which there were pay phones places. So everywhere that I went, uh, if I saw a pay phone, I would compulsively call Sierra Online customer <laughs> service to ask if there had been a release date, release date announced for Phantasm. Oh, Aquarium. yeah. Oh my uh, it was God. incredible. It was an amazing, amazing time. That's amazing. Like this is, this is like, cause I feel like in the modern day and age, all you're doing is trying to withstand a deluge of notifications. Yeah, Just right. Every, exactly. every time I yeah. open a door, notifications start flooding in like that scene in the shining. <laughs> But back then there was just this like, you hear no information and you have to go seek it out. And oh, yep. dude, yeah, no. And I I will say, I kind of miss those days a little bit. I miss those, the good old days when you just sat yeah. there and you yeah. if you were sitting and nothing was happening, it would stay that way until you actively changed it. But now yep. you yeah. tune in here Whoa. and we bring all the action to Ooh. you. Oh yeah. I like that transition. You think that was pretty good? Uh, I encourage chat to just Give us our Harold Halibut names. Like, just append a fish. Just append a fish. And see yeah. what happens. Oh, uh, yeah. And let me also say, I, wins, I, wins. I, I've been seeing a lot of your sweet messages in chat. Uh, as some of you saw the tweet, uh, my little doggy CC passed away on Monday. So, still, still kind of recovering and hanging in there, but just wanted to say thank you, everyone, for the really sweet remarks. And, you know, frankly, to game developers everywhere for just making great games. That remind us that awesome things will still keep happening. And so here we go. We're going straight into new game. That's right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, and Mostly Walking (laughs) Bingo is up. (laughs) If any of you want to play along. Hell yes. Hell yes. You know, what I do think every time that there's a stop motion... uh, thing i hope the script is good (laughs) (laughs) you know i actually think that this fish was super necessary to make people understand that you're underwater because i realize how easy it is for this zoom in to appear to be outer space that's why game developers put fish in there a lot of times a lot of times old uh, classroom projectors. <laughs> this is great. Look at those. Look at the adventure that's implied in all of these. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those sets. What? This looks awesome. Wait, so this is video. I I don't know. Is... I just hit new game, and this is about as much as I've done. No, 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 but I mean... But I mean, this isn't 3D models. This is video, right? My understanding uh... is that, as we love to say on the show, Lee, <laughs> this is the game. Yeah. This is a game, yeah. It's uh, models that were scanned in and then rigged and, and then motion mo-capped. captured. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. I'll file that away for shit to comprehend later. Yeah. Do I have control now? Oh. Harold. No, no. I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Turning it oh. up. Hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can oh, you that's a rough now? one. Uh, no. But, but wait, I- I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, 
The Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward <laughs> journey to the social district <laughs> is intended, in addition, this is how to modern battle passes work. Credit. <laughs> but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. <laughs> now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. So I will say, this game has already done something that I wish more games did, mm. which is it gives an epic well, foul of oh, the end on, user insufficient funds clause i'm afraid if you really can't pay you're going to have to think of someone who can i guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again who knows what she sees in you oh yeah right i saw it elsewhere there's a disturbing yeah. rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently i hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon harold Oh, am I, I can tell by the way that our clothing sits on us that we are very small. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Look look at the physicality Ooh, wow. with the movement. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's oh. very good. That's very good. Dude, okay. So, um, there's this thing that a lot of movies do that not a lot of games do. In fact, I think books do it the most, which is... If you want to show a slow escalation where someone starts small and then something epic happens, you know, like the hobbits in the Shire that eventually go journey yeah. to all over the place, what you do is you have an epic prologue that hints at the scope of things. And then you can have them just kind of hanging around, chilling, you know, eating food. Mm -hmm. And this it showed a bunch uh -huh. of different scenes and settings and characters and conversations and areas that implied an epic scope. And now we're starting in the most boring spot again. Like a lot of games, especially the old point go adventure games, just started you in the boring spot. <laughs> and then you had to just, you had nothing really else to do as we established beforehand. Yeah. That is really good. That is, that is well noted. I like that. Oh, 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 I'm sitting oh. down. <laughs> so, what are you? Look at the framing. Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant. Because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let <laughs> yeah. me out in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. There were the dark Felix? Hi, Ma. Yeah. Uh, look, before you say anything, whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have Fast a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! <laughs> we reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and the company. Fedora One. We seem to have discovered hair. something super cool. I know, cool. that's amazing. Please do consider <laughs> to congregate tonight. We seem to have discovered to something super yeah. cool. Some important information. It's an announcement of an announcement. Fuck yeah. It is. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, Harold, here you are. Oh, I'm still sitting here. Over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, oh. ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. We always want a doctor oh, in our corner, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Can I talk to you? No? All right. <laughs> See you later. Mr. Yeah, look at your like, Prince of Persia animation. Yeah, right? Home. Yes. Yeah. And only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury okay. of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, do I, do I sign? How do I sign? Do I sign anything? Did I already I sign? I think you got it. I think you got it. Is there a like inventory button or anything? Is I'm hitting all the buttons. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so whoa. I, if I hold the left trigger. What the fuck? Just zooms whoa. in. Whoa, what? That's extremely cool. 
It's so unnecessary. It's just a photo mode. Yeah. And it, and it, short, it, it shortens the depth Focal of focus. Light. Yeah, yeah. Yup. Because you can see oh the gentleman God, in the background is blurry, and I release. Yep. And he's sharp again. Is that just like? Is that Jesus. just like? What is that? That's that's your little like cinematic moment. Dial? That's like a. We know our game looks good. Here's a button to just look. All right. So none of my buttons seem to do just anything except the uh, the controller or the analog stick. I can make them wiggle. All right. In you go. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the I can't wiggle with you. While we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. Oh. This must have an underlying cause. When I watched mm. this, well, I remember when you whatever. were still in school and your teacher telling me about you <laughs> just stare out of the window. <laughs> look at your little walk. Oh my God! Look at the little digital thing. How do I go faster? Weird. Whoa. Whoa. All right, I'm, I'm looking around. You're doing wow. exactly the thing that she is chiding you for doing. <laughs> I you know. know to do. Can I go in here? <laughs> no? All right, fine. Oh, I love that you can walk against the wall. Um, there are, you, there's some clickable things though, right? Like you were clicking on things in the other room. So they, this is cool. The clickable things in the other room had a little UI element that appeared. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just love the little details. Like above each room, yeah. there is that like green and red dot, like at parking structures, it shows what's available and not. Oh yeah. Yeah. And dude, I think this is so smart. It's oh, like, hey, if we're building physical sets, we should lean into it and have what looks like a paper cut out that we then just slap a digital image on. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. really good. Oh, uh, it's so good. All right, and I go, oh yeah. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Damn. Professor. That's not true. Yeah. If any of you have ever been bored, I want to let you know. The game thinks you're boring. Whoa. The all water core. Can I look at this cool map? No? All right. Oh, Can dude. Can you climb that, like, weirdly small ladder? Oh, look at, oh, look at that little accessible. insert. Fire your permission slip. That is gorgeous. You know oh, my gosh. This, this, is, this is what we lauded about. Lovely buttons. Dude, I, I love these zoomed-in physical interfaces. This, this is very... 90s adventure game. This is what I loved about um, mm. not beautiful desolation. Uh, Stasis Bone Totem. Ooh. Destination chosen. We hope Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at something on my monitor. One, se one second. Oh, oh. We're on a water I'm still here. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. Alright. Oh, hmm. look at this, like, sun looking hmm. thing. Moving along the top? What is that? So, will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Ah. As of yet, there is no discount scheme in place, as we calculated the possible inconvenience to be negligible. Wouldn't need a discount if the prices weren't so high in the first place. I'm using my specialized zoom in button. On the pricing strategy, I'm yeah, afraid, that's pretty sir, cool. I'm just a travel secretary. So what can you comment on? I am authorized to comment on the nature of the tube closure, see this. which is that all water have had to close oh, cool. the temporarily for improvement works. All right. Yes, you said that. Have these improvements been carried out before? <laughs> Mr. Bumbo says, is that the Tarkov dev? <laughs> so what can you comment on? I can confirm that there is no discount scheme. The, the dynamic audio or dynamic volume is yeah, yeah. fascinating. So it the fair, fair price. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. All right, we're going in. All right, so we saw her go to the energy district. Uh, should we just do it? Should we just go in there? Yeah. Let's go. Location is not accessible via your permission. Damn it. Where do you think we live? Arcades? 
All right, I'm going to the lab district. I mean, maybe maybe I'm supposed to go to the lab. Zyot85, thank you for the kind I'm words. Tired Welcome. Of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on, what's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. Now that's great so world building. I could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the hmm. other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Oh. Ergo, you never take responsibility. No, no, catch up. Run. Run. I want to catch up and hear what she has to say. No, there's no run button. No. Ah. All right, fine. Brutal. Brutal. Dude, I mean, this, like, but that that's just really good dialogue. Because, uh, you know, th there's always, I, my, I actually, at this point in life, it makes me happy when I hear shitty exposition. When it's like, well, as your brother, I've known you for a long time. And so, as dad used to say, comma, it's sad he's gone, comma. You know, like, they just, like, keep just dumping information where, uh, you know, instead she says something natural and the character questions it, which is really naturally. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so great. And I mean, just, like, all the little details in this set is just ridiculous. So this, this, this looks like it's a map of maybe everything that's underneath here. I don't know. Cause it kind of, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, <laughs> welcome back, Link. I'm back again. I, I literally just had to fix my monitor with some tape. <laughs> nah, that's how you know Lee is a gamer. <laughs> it's not a gamer. I've said it before, but I should not be able to shake if I shake my monitor, it um, the, the 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 picture goes away, and that shouldn't be a thing that you can do. <laughs> I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who. Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. <laughs> There's important work of your flights of fancy. You must stop you being horny immediately. Yet. And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah, uh, yes. Those <laughs> flights two. of fan that could, that's the, the least case. fanciful thing I've heard anyone say ever. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. We got the quests. The ones you oh, get no. anything done around here. Ah. Thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. She no likey you. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Okay. Um... Sean, write this down. Where were they again? <laughs> the upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Oh, oh, oh we got we got buttons, we got buttons. Oh yeah. Tutorial. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Oh, and it's Just the bottom so. button on my controller. So, oh. And to hit the bottom button. Oh. Wait, am I playing on a switch? Ah, if you were, then it's the right button. <laughs> oh no. Hit X. Okay, great. Oh god, what platform? And it's the rightmost button to go back. Right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you Wonderful. at the Aurora Arcades when you're done. Oh my god. I mean, this is, this, I, <laughs> I feel life says, is this Boomer Simulator? I love this game. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing. Oh, no, that's mean. But wait, how do I install more RAM? Can I download it? <laughs> hey. All right. All right, so E. Do, 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 do. CompuBud. Oh, look at my little look at my little uh, illustration because I keep getting yeah, distracted. Yeah, I know that's amazing. Oh, that is really funny. Central tour cuts. That's wild. All right, hold on. Go to my to do. Clean the filter station. Moreau told me to clean the filter station like always. Or remind me to feed the fish. Optional tasks. All right. Okay. Sean. Yeah. The internet says there is a sprint button. What is it? 
Well, it, on a PlayStation controller, it's square, and on an Xbox controller, it's X. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this, our character runs like a dad that has just seen your car as he's crossing the street. <laughs> And he's not actually moving faster than he's walking, but he's just trying to signal to you that he's trying to hurry up. <laughs> the, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, you ever, you ever see that guy? He and, and right before he does this, he, he literally goes, and then he runs across <laughs> the street like that. A little uh, Mia culpa, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nope, I see you, I see you, I'm going. Oh, oh. You know, people make fun of us Midwesterners for saying ope, but it's really a perfect word. Oh, yeah, Ope is great. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. It's like, oh, there's a tornado. Oh. 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 I didn't, and actually, now that you said it, I, I say Ope all the time, and I didn't realize yeah, that too. no one in Los Angeles says that shit. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They say that uh, in the Midwest, we say, oh, just going to sneak by you there. Oh, yeah. Let me just, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't realize <laughs> I said that. It's out of food. Yep. <laughs> Better ask Cyrus about this. All right. Ask Cyrus about the fish food. All right. The fish food. What happens if I hit this button? Whoa. It's the periodic table of sushi. Are, are these the fish? No. Are these the, I don't know. Oh, I just, be. I hit a button. No, they're gone. I got to wait for the animation. This truly is a point and click oh, adventure game. I, I would love if it's like a fish called Wanda thing where Harold Halibut is like an actual fish in the game that you like are having to somehow deal with. That Yo, what was that transition? <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Now go back here. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. This. One more oh, time. Yeah. So oh. sick. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so good. You can't oh. just program that. You have to art. You have to art it. You have to make it art. Oh my god! Oh. Incredible. Incredible. I don't even think there's anything interactable back here. <laughs> They're oh, just showing up. Oh, oh ye. Oh my god. Oh. All right, I'm gonna do my little walk. All right, let's just go over here. Oh my god, that feels pretty good. It's real good. Clean the filter station. Alright, so is the guy that asked about fish food. Messages. Okay. Burp. Doink. Alright, All right, so can I go here now? Oh ah, Harold, perfect timing. Oh, whoa. Senor Tenenbaum, you too. <laughs> I was just hoping to watch some Sansu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Uh, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Oh, advertisement has ruined the future too. <laughs> still be good for watching the ad only tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. An announcement of an announcement of an announcement. Oh. All right. Plantain, so this is Chris. Okay. What is Sansu's Ashk? Yes. <laughs> Sansu's Ashk. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad. <laughs> Well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. This is what it sounds like every time I talk to an anime fan, dude. <laughs> what brings you to the lounge, anyway? There's a time Will jump after the episode the 279. And the social district are down again? <laughs> Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Mostly. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. 
Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here. He's a fan of literally every character that's been introduced so far. Wait, what would you say, yeah. Sean? I'm a huge fan of literally every character that's been introduced so far. Yeah! It's <clears throat> whoop waters, whoop. I'm just, I'm just looking at how, like, look, look at the light on the outer edge of the head. Like that is just, that is just magnificent. Like the light on the hair on the right, and look at, look at the way the wall. Just the light. Yeah, the light on that wall is. On it. It's so good. So the it's only all issue. Very... It's all the so only... photorealistic. The only issue is that all of the baked lighting is so good, but most of the time, th this is an exception, uh, Harold has very little interaction with the light. Uh, yeah. So he looks like yeah. he's floating a little bit. It's yeah, true. No, I, he I, doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Shadow. Foot. Foot. foot yeah. Shadow. shadow. Yeah. No, and there. Like, like he literally has a shadow. This, this, I think, is one of the hardest things to do is to get the shadow yeah. on the foot correct, it's because really tough. Um, one of the things that, as 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 Bruce Block, oh wait, not Bruce Block. Who is oh, yeah. who is the guy that like? There was this guy that would come and present at like a random time twice a year, and he always did the exact same presentation about people notice the contrast. What? Huh. I don't know. No, no, you remember this guy who was just talking about like um, what you see is contrast. Like it, if there's five people in blue and one's red, what's the one you're going to look at? Oh, you're going to look at the red one. The one if in there's, red. If there's a bunch of people moving and one standing still, which one are you going to look at? The one that's standing still. He's standing a, still. He's the same one who did the presentation about three ways of having someone uh, discover a body. <laughs> Anything that you're talking about. <laughs> what? I don't think How I was I? there for this one. I, I saw it so many times. And I remember watching it and being like, oh, is this presentation? Was that the only one? No, because he said he was talking about editing. How, like, you could show someone entering the door and then show an edit yeah. of a body there and then cut back to them and show them screen. Or you could show the body sure. first and then show them open the door and then do the screen. Or you could show them open the yeah. door, screen, and then show the body. These have different effects in the editing. Yeah, you, you remember clearly. this guy who was an all-star? No, it was amazing. I, I could have given that Sounds like that a rad speech. lecture, but I don't... Yeah. Was it, Bruce? No. Oh, God, look, I don't know. I'm 37, and these boomer games that tell me which up, down, <laughs> left, right button to hit is all I can stomach. Maybe they're all melted together. But let me try this again. Brains process contrast as the most relevant thing pretty much all the time. And it's theorized. It's yeah. like a survival thing where if you're running and everything's visually moving... And then everything's green, but then there's one thing that's red. Your eyes get drawn to that. Uh, or if everything's still and you're trying to hide and there's one thing that's moving, your eyes drawn to that. And so if you have realistic shadows underneath the foot, um, if your character is moving a little bit, imagine your character is doing a kind of basic motion like this, but then you have a really long, large shadow. Well, if the shadow is contrasty enough visually, then all of a sudden your eye is drawn to the large movements of the large shadow and not drawn to the character, which is what you're supposed to be looking at. And so uh -huh. what you'll see in a lot of games and movies is that they will soften certain shadows of the thing you're supposed to be looking at so it won't be too visually distracting. So for, like as, as we're watching Harold Halbert move around, you can see his like shoes are reacting to the light, but like this kind of shadow where the character is right here, drifts away at a time like this because you really want to be looking at Harold. You can see that Harold really is the only thing doing pretty much any movement, and there's a little soft <laughs> shadow behind him on the wall. And I do think it might be a, a, a little bit too soft, but in any case, I can't believe you guys don't remember that lecture. That was such a good lecture. No. What the I feel heck? like You know what, though? I feel like I got the full impact of that lecture. <laughs> That's now. fair. Look! Look! Look at the look at the steps. Look at how I'm walking on that. Oh yeah. Oh, my ankles are breaking a little bit, but. Oh, <laughs> oh, Harold. I mean, he he's 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 got the slippery slides. I don't know. That's the one thing that's getting me. I don't know. That's all I'm willing to say about that. I wanna. I wanna. Yeah. I wanna re immerse it's, myself. Yeah. It's the the problem is that it's it's a um. It's a very uncanny valley problem because the game looks so good. Yeah.
do the little details become issues? What is going on with the mirror? Uh, oh, they probably fogged it out so that you can't... Wait, no, they also did put your reflection in there. They did put your reflection in there, but only kind of. This is rough, because, like, this game is so visuals, like, front and center that, like, yeah. we're just sort of picking them apart. Like, that's... Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. That is tough. I mean... But also, part of me just does not really care that much. The game is just letting me wander. Oh, oh my look at God, that lighting. look at that. Oh, Jesus. my God. Look at the. Oh, That's my. so God. good. It is so pretty. That's so good. Ah! Like, it just it just doesn't really. I don't really care about the lighting or the feet. Uh, the lighting no, no, the totally. I mean, it's. Is it Cyrus? Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? Uh, I mean, uh. How's up? Just doing my How's usual up? rounds. Trying What's to going? clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt yeah. fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the. Sigh. Si. That sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? <laughs> hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry, Brad. Then I We're not the only the space night. cadet on this ship. Uh, must have just thought about yeah. it. Now they're formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Oh, dude, we're well, about to try some fish, too. baby. Uh, thanks. Hell yeah. I'll let you know what they think. <clears throat> this is amazing. Oh, it's a fish. <gasps> we're free out here. Did you see that? What? <laughs> Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean... Even what? if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean Ooh, it up. Ooh, who are they talking about? their first messages? Ah, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. Uh. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about... Exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? I'm Dude. okay. All right. I I I, I kind of fell off on the end there. Okay, so I happen to know that we are on a ship that has Yeah. Oh, sorry. I clicked outside the window. Uh, the oh, yeah, because they mentioned aboard. They, they said aboard and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so, like, we are on a ship that appears to have crashed into the ocean. And so there's some organization that is informing us. Oh, no, this is just like that other game. Next, we're going to find a... We're going to find a smart bear. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about normality. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just doesn't want to <laughs> open. Oh, oh, look, we got a little tentacle saying hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Is that a Day of the Tentacle reference? Oh, my God. No, it is. It is. Is it? Is it? Can you it look is. close? No, look, look at, look it at the, must be. the coloration. A hundred percent. Yeah, it is. It oh, my God. They've done it. They've done it. They're I referencing games they're that we also this. play on this show. Oh, oh my Lord. Do, 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 do. Damn it. Uh, okay. All right. Filtration pump, 014F. Is that Dude. a hex, hexadecimal filtration Dude, pump? Dude, they're, they're, they're showing off. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's just... Wow. I, Dude, like... What the fuck? This, there's depths of detail here that I'm just not... 
you know how like in a video game what's supposed to happen is that you zoom in and it looks a little kind of crappy <laughs> <laughs> like you know uh, yeah. you know what i mean no it's it's the exact uh, this, quality with me as a content creator like yeah yeah like and dude, in this we zoom in and it's like oh here have some extra details yeah like just the the decals texturing on yeah. the metal material is so nice and like i i can't stress enough how hard it is to get light in a fluid like this look here this mm -hmm. is this is impossible yeah. this is like the hardest yeah. thing in the universe to get that 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 murkiness in there yeah oh and like how how and it's 4k also so like what is textures and of those textures oh see now okay there we're seeing some some not so great looking stuff which is i'm trying to parse i'm trying to i'm trying to understand yeah. who's you know no i hear what you're saying like how big are these textures is what i'm what i'm wondering yeah yeah no like it it, it does look a little old school like this, this is what, this is what most objects looked like on the PS2 when you got real close to them. Yeah. Yeah. So what's that about? I guess I'm trying to solve the mystery of how they did the art. So like, right. This is a clue, you know. Um, because like viewers, FYI, like you know, if you if you're making a an iPhone game, certainly back in the day, there was years and years ago now, decades ago, oh. I guess. There was uh, an iPhone, or there was an iPod Touch that a lot, it had a Retina screen, but it didn't have very much RAM. So, like, if you tried to show, if you tried to just show textures that were like the size of the screen for like full res, it would just like Green crash the app. Mm -hmm. So, you don't really get to show super huge textures a lot of the time. Did you do Look that, Sean? Hard. I did not. I don't understand how you controlled that. But so, so basically, it's one of these interfaces where you just kind of have symbols, and there's the only screen. like three different things to do. And so there was not actually a puzzle. <laughs> I just had to go into a menu and click a button, and that was that. Got it. Yeah, oh, this is wild. Are insanely good. I I would I would just I would love to see a breakdown of how they're doing this stuff. I'm sure there's one out there. I'll Google it at some point. Dude, I mean, look at look at how seamless this is. Jesus. I mean, it's what I need so is uh, those, I need like, some pop-in transitions are fucking wild. I mean that that I mean this is insane. Do we know what engine this is? Is it Unreal? I'm gonna go into the back. Uh, Jesus. Go, yeah, could you go into the game? Yeah, could you go into the video? Game? <laughs> can you enter into the game more deeply? All right. Feed the fish. Yeah, if ever there was a game that made me want to like get into a deep case Is study on, on on the, art, it's this one. Little machine in the back. <laughs> Unity. Ghost Talker says this is in Unity. There's, nice. There is no fucking way they figured out how to make Unity do this. Like, that's crazy. That's the craziest thing of all. That's like, where'd that scientific I, breakthrough come from, 4chan? The like, there's the no CEO way. Looked, the CEO looked at this game and was like, we gotta charge for installs. We gotta <laughs> charge for installs. Worldwide, in perpetuity, uh, retroactively. Um. All right, huh. putting in the food. Enjoy it, buddies. Little fishing? Your little dishy is now served. Oh, Ooh. I've actually obscured the fish in the background. You <laughs> have. AP Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation. Minimal. Energy levels <laughs> depleted. Recharging required. Next destination. Agora Arcades. Yes. How are you gonna get to the Agora Arcades without a bus pass? I don't know, but this is what I look like. <laughs> dun, 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 he's got dun, the dun. accent of he's got the accent of somebody who's like probably pretty nice, and um, comes from like a functioning 
democracy that has good healthcare, and also like is like kind of like probably the Midwest of Europe, you know? <laughs> ah, why isn't this working? <laughs> so typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. What? He's just got that, he, you know what it is? He's got the accent of somebody where like, if you showed up at that person's house, they'd probably like offer you food. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh hey, I have a half a sandwich in the fridge if you'd like half a sandwich. Exactly. Going to the lounge. Going to the lounge. Lounge. Let's lounge. Hello again. Hello. Oh wait, this is the Take lounge. Ooh, the lounge is horrible. Mind if I watch the announcement with you. Who'll be my guest? Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars, not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others helped make that possible. All right. All water. On that note, <laughs> I like how he says I'd like that. to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. <laughs> oh, that is such a great character Good day design. To you all. As you may know, I am Amazing. Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me unmitigated in pleasure. And celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. God damn it. The animation is it so good. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began oh, at the height yeah. of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. Cold War, huh? He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlipmeyer Foundation, <laughs> as a gesture of global care for the human race. <laughs> <laughs> that ship journeyed for yeah. 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, oh, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. Unobtainium. We had difficulties uh -huh. yeah. to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. <laughs> and of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After hmm. 200 years, we finally ah. arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic <laughs> gases in the atmosphere. Yeah, Hardly yeah. the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could. That they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. <laughs> that clapping. Ride, huh? <laughs> we've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy. So we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched <laughs> a new plan. Arm a state-of-the-art, yeah. deep space, radio boy, capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. Boy. 
Oi. That was some announcement, huh? It's it. Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. I like that. I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? Yeah. For this fancy boy drama. Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focused. Oh, look at how his hair stretches. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buena noche, Chris. Buena noche, Harold. Buena noche, is that, um... Italian? Is it Italian, Portuguese, something like that? Oh, did I click outside again? Yeah. Italian would be... Buena cena, would it? Uh, yeah, good night, right? Mm -hmm. Is it noche? Yeah. Is that night? Yeah, I oh, think, what is bon yeah, I think what is Italian. I wish my bed wasn't right below Moreau's lab. Oh, yeah. So here's, here's the lab. This is really good. I'm liking okay. this. And uh, yeah, I am going to I'm going to dig in and see if I can find their like little art art pipeline. At some point. Okay, so do I. Is this where I live? This is filtration pump. So do I live inside yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that I got a chance to see the light again. I know, it's pretty good. It's a good room. Or maybe it's just that after 200 uh, years, as we're going through things... Oh, no, it's not here. It is just a brand new uh, variation on language. Yeah, you know? Fair enough, fair enough. So that's the water closet. Okay, there's the lounge. Oops. Lab quarters. Okay. <laughs> Fedorans. The all closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. Do I live over here? Where, where do I live? Arcadia. I think you have to go back to the tube station. Well, no, because uh, it, it says it's closed. So now we're going to do snooze and wish my bed wasn't right below Moreau's lab. Wait. Isn't, isn't this Moreau's lab? Yes. Oh, I'm so... Guys. Guys. It's behind the oh. thing that I dropped down. You're now, scared. that is not your fault. Yo! That is the fault yo. of the thing you dropped down. Look at oh. that. Look at that transition. Look at that. Look at what it cuts away. It's this so is good. so good. Christ. Oh, of course. I recognize this. Yeah, but it didn't also, actually how did lock they... us out. How do they make it look simultaneously like cold, empty, and foreboding, but also oh, like boy. cozy at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this. I mean, you back did do ten minutes time, worth man. of work. But yeah. Agent Harrelson, that's mm -hmm. what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're. <laughs> Potato almost one time I'm um, coming to Fortnite. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Best. <laughs> your suspenders are definitely part of your torso. 18251 yeah. after crash. So 18251 300. How how many years is oh, that? Oh, day. Is that 30 years? Uh, 18251 divided by uh, 365. 50 years. 50? Metric. That's metric. How many metric years is that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Never do math on stream. Yeah, it's rough. Earth years. It's Earth years. Earth coin. Earth coin. Water coin. Water coin. All water coin. What else? Water. After water. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed, I'm sure it will make a great oh, source of distraction. Oh, her arm! It did not cool. realize ready. that. Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the arboretum last night. Standing up. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? 
Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just <laughs> give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just oh, remind yeah. me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you I fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. All right, here we go. Now activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Switch next, next to the door. Where's the, over here? I think it's the thing you did before. I did, oh, oh, wait. Oh yeah, to, to open the shelf. Switch next to the door to open the shelf. Here we go. The sample shelf. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. All right. A little blue rock in there? I'm owning. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You remember your left and right? Bring it to my house and it into the couch. All right. Et voilà. Put it in Check the microscope. microscope. And finally, Man. you'll see what I mean. All right. Oh, did you just my arm broke. <laughs> at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only uh -huh. see one mark. That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one for... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. Oh, we have yes. to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Find yes. old rocks. But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice oh. to see you, oh. Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Absolutely. All right, I just hit the button. I'm going to talk to her. Rotato potato. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Yeah, hi, I um, love you. Yes, but no, I'm Harold <laughs> Halibut. I interned in your yeah, section hi. for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're Microwave Boy. So, you do remember me. Ooh, this yes, sucks. how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you... All right, here's the exposition info dump I love. Reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Wait a minute. Reserves? Are we in <laughs> some kind mark? of trouble? So, I'm actually curious uh, uh, of your opinion. Because yeah. this... Simply how this scene looks is enough for me, gameplay-wise. <laughs> if I'm just walking from A to B looking at stuff that is this pretty, I'm good. We also yeah. have not done particularly complex puzzle solving outside of me hitting no. some buttons. Like, it's been an we hour and I'm just kind of wandering around. I'm curious where, where either of you two fall. I mean, I think we're still solidly in, like, tutorial Me zone, too. Yeah. You know? Um, I don't think we've had a puzzle really yet. I think, yeah. I think they've been just telling us what to do, and then we've been, you know, making sure we can do that. I uh, need a lot more puzzly puzzles. I do expect that eventually there will be some agency in uh, introduced into the dialogue. Yeah, that we really haven't seen. I also but... think that like, uh, oh, I I also think that like. My guess is that we're probably going to be returning to the same locations a lot. Um, we'll see, though. I'm guessing that since the locations mm. are so visually rich, that they're gonna they're gonna use them. Yeah. Um, 
or, over and over. Which or is, everything which is, is one and done, and these are the most reckless content creators of all time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going top to bottom. Here we, yes. here we go. Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. <laughs> Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. All right. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks? Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said you should maybe check with your husband. Bloomy Rocks. Bloomy As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. Mm, He's a that rock collection. really, you know? Go ask him. I do. See you later. Bye, Richard. Bye, bye Microwave Boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, she called us Richard. Boy. Her name's Harold. That's so funny. Ugh. Is our name Harold? Harold it is, Halibut. Isn't it? Yes. It is Okay, Harold so Halibut. we're not looking yeah, for awesome. the one, the only it? Harold Halibut. Like, Harold Halibut's not like some mystery so, character who's going to yeah, upend our lives. told me about no. some kind of energy shortage and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. This is so As good. This is so cozy. She may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. It's speculative and now isn't the time. That all? Yeah. Uh, well, excuse so, me. Oh. Any idea what she meant? Oh my god, here's mm -hmm. what happens when I hit the skip button. Is she meant? That was insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It went into what needs it to went into for forward. Harold, use the PDA. Anything else on your mind? Jeez, it's oh, so mean. No, it's okay. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. Be good, Harold. Harold. Hold the L, Harold. All right. Harold. Tommy's general store. You go to arcades. Blip, blip, blip. Harold. Doink. When you see Cyrus, could you give him a message? All right, for I'm gonna go. I, I'm a sure completionist. Thing, I'm gonna talk to Cyrus Just first. Just ask him. How are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but it's a it's weird a... message. Yes, I know. I could yeah, ask how are myself, the details? Uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. What? It's complicated, okay? <laughs> we go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent nomenclature. archive methodology. Not that he ever <laughs> saw fit to delineate his preferred... <laughs> don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your oh, with me. actually, Harold, there's a power line shortage. That's no, why they can't okay. see eye to eye. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, okay, Lee, should we go talk to Cyrus? Yeah. Or should we go to the arcades? Oh, Lord. Um, arcades, please. Now, but I'm, I'm worried that arcade might just be like an architectural definition where it's like a hallway. Yeah, I really I want it to be a video arcade. Yeah, I love I love arcade. I think it's, I think it's gonna be Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is when you stepped away Ooh. and they introduced the water tubes and I was like, Lee, no, this is a cool bit, Leo. Oh, Ooh, I wasn't there for that. For your own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain Major butthole. And yourself, hey. Major. I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Diminutive. I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to it. live than you. And Harold, tell him about <laughs> our plan. Harold! <laughs> got longer to live than you. I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I have no idea of what knowledge. Oh my I'm god. Timer. Whoa. Yeah, there was a timer. Wow. Are you I a, a time dialogue. Is that, yeah. is that what? common? No, major. I, uh, I first saw it in uh, Telltale Games. On young Felix okay. Here. Not me. It's major. a good idea. It's a good idea. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. He's just a kid. Are you being Incredible. a bit hard on him? I just meant... I mean, if you just relax. Oh relax. God, Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but, but, <laughs> what did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, oh. wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine. 
I'm the law here. Yeah. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's <laughs> willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the Harold. Uh, this is madness. I'm gone. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no, Felix. Have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But... Major, what is the subject? <laughs> That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix. Where is Felix? Oh! <laughs> Felix? Harold, you've lost him. Gah. That was a just, great exchange. That was that so was, good. So that mean was very at you. Good. This is you're extremely just a good. nerd, and they're so mean at you. Oh my god! Can Look I just at that say? Guy. Okay. I don't. Okay, if you are watching a movie or a television show, yeah. If the dialogue isn't funny, your show fails. I should say, if it's trying Ooh. to be funny and it's failing. <laughs> this is a hell of a thing to say. <laughs> That's why okay. Mindhunter was so bad. <laughs> and, uh, <Lloyd> <laughs> no, 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 I messed up, I messed up. I messed up, how dare you, okay? No, 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 no. If your show is trying to be funny or your movie's trying to be funny yeah. and the dialogue isn't funny, like, it, it, it's physically painful. It, it, yeah. it hurts. But for some reason, yeah. especially in games, there's this conceit of like, yeah, none of these people are fucking funny, but it's a game, it's fine, <laughs> I just get to do the action sequence or whatever it is. The number of times I've played a game where there's no joke attempts made, and it works, great. I've played plenty of games like that. The number of open world games where there's an exchange between the protagonist and their friend, and one says something unfunny and the other laughs and says something and my character laughs, and I'm like, none of this shit is funny. Like. It is so refreshing to see a game that has actually hilarious exchanges and dialogues. Like, I'm trying to think of the last game that I played that had an exchange that was that well done and humorous. Like, I, I've seen this in TV and movies, but, like, I have not seen that sort of thing in ages. Yeah. Be that good in a game. <laughs> I've, I've softened on my point. If you don't have funny dialogue, you fail. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know, but, my... you know, there's all these little touches too, like even the animations that I'm looking at up in those monitors. Yeah. It's it, there's so much. <laughs> Next, to this guy is just. Yeah. Looking at me. Look at the. This is good. Fucking bingo machine idols. next to you too. Yeah. It's got yeah. like a face like on nose. it. Nose. Yeah. All right. This is a really good. I could watch eight hours of that just idling Hello, next Mr. to each Secretary. other. Hello, uh, Secretary. Eight. Right. I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary 8. Or Secretary 24, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just Sorry. three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so oh, water. there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary 8 is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting <laughs> my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly All Water Raffle Bonanza? Oh, oh sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from All Water to you, the citizens of Fedora. <laughs> what are the prizes? What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. All right, I'm ready. I guess so. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... 
Looks like you were unlucky this oh. time. But that's life. Try again next time. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> All right. That's like playing craps, you know? Or like roulette. All right. Burp. I like the the image of the fish sitting down for dinner. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, look at those fish. Look at all those chickens. Oh, message John Slippy Jr.? Wait, hold on. <laughs> John Slippy Jr. Please select a category from above. Oh, there it is. Yes, yeah, Slippy's Double Black Diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippy's today. <laughs> okay. Gertrude's Beer Zone. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, winter sport goods. Okay, how are okay, how are they selling winter sport goods when you live permanently underwater? Remember, it's all know. water. Intercom oasis? Dude, this this entire set is wild. Yeah. It really is. Talking magnificent. to people. Magnificent. Magnificent. Hey, buddy. Hey, Harold. Great to see you. How about that announcement, eh? Yeah, it was really something. It sure was. I try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station jog. The jog? Uh, I was only... Chris promised me he'd be here any minute. Now we've really got a jog team on our hands. I think I'll pass. No one's forcing you, Harold. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that I can do. How's the post today? Ah, oh, it's a bit slow, what with the tube to the utility district being out. So I can't really work. <laughs> Not working makes me so restless. Doesn't make me so restless, nice, man. Good thing you have the arcades That's to why he has around. to jog. Yep. Yeah, see? And Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? Oh, hey, Chris. Last to arrive, first to finish. That's my motto. Harold, won't you stay? The jog team won't be the same without you. The jog team. Yeah, venga, Harold. You can't leave yeah. now, I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. Uh, I think you better jog. Yeah, just I don't make me look bad. You want to yes. jog? Yes, and. I want to yeah, jog. jog. Okay. Go jog team. <laughs> Come on, Harold. Oh, 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 nope. oh. <laughs> better oh. fucking do it. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> go, go, oh, no. go, go. I thought oh. I was fit. <sighs> Dude, this is so funny. I'm so glad Go that on. we're doing this. Without me. <sighs> Good show, Harold. That was a really that short job. Amazing. That was a that was a little I jog. Think that was a new personal best for me. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Thanks, buddy. God, the How background. How do you keep so fit? Yeah. Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for years. Oh, I guess he is the mailman. Keep up my reputation for same-day yeah, service yeah. after all. Healthy body, oh God, healthy mind. So good. That's what keeps me going. Got to set a good example for those lazy students of mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any tips? Just keep on moving, Harold. You never know when you'll have to slow down. So keep going while you can. I actually like that motto a lot. That's actually really good. It is pretty yeah. good. You may as well keep going while you can. With mail sticking out of your chest and shit. Oh, I oh. know, that's a pretty hey, fucking great how shirt is it he's going, got. Harold? <laughs> Not too shabby, thanks. How about you? I'm super, actually. I found a book. Oh, cool. <laughs> what kind of book? <laughs> it was just discovered. A book written on Earth. Nobody what? on the station has read it yet. Apart that is a me. daring wow. shirt design What's he's it got. About? Yeah. Stick yeah. around, 
And you'll find out. My newest performance piece is a reading of it. Oh, nice. Which part? All of it, Harold. All of it. Which part? Without interruption. His what? It's what shirt? A wild oh, it's so, so good. Up. Wow. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Wow. 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 Um, you know these characters are really giving me like a Legend of Zelda NPC kind of vibe. Oh yeah. yeah. Certainly for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh. Majora's Mask. I could imagine like two of them juggling and being like. <laughs> Dude, this is like a really good example of like the shadows are just not very hard underneath at this specific angle. Yeah. And then when they walk here, yeah. they get like real hard for a brief moment. Like, I was also interesting um, design of the space there because those clearly are like stage lights or film lights but they're actually pointed in the opposite direction yeah that would make sense <gasps> Yo! oh are you gonna play video games in your video games no Jeez. way look go in there you better go, you best go in there i bet look at that that's look at so you good. that's so pretty look at the ceiling oh oh hey what's going on up there harold mm. is everything okay the tube route to the school in the social district is out. Oh, right. Makes sense. Annoying. That's not what's annoying. Oh? You. Kids. Everywhere. All the time. Are they playing no school, uh, Star Fox? No peace. It looks like just something very similar. Around, taking space. Oh my god! Fuck yes! Oh, dear. oh my Star god, Fox. yes. But isn't that what this place is for? Kind of? No way. Oh. Just the, the incidental see. art and stuff Good in luck. this game is incredible. Like they built that, right? They had to like build like a little little game, like a little part of a little yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Can we play Star Fox? Hey there. The name is Eve, not there. Oh, sorry, Eve. Hey, Eve. Can I help you, Mister? No, just came to visit Rafi. What you playing? Oh, some game. I'd rather be reading, but here we are. What do you like to read? <laughs> Anything really, you know. At the moment, hegemony and the pan liberalism agenda of agnostic hegemony. mostly. Hegemony. Hegemony. Yes. Oh, nomenclature. Yes. Nomenclature. Did you know Captain at Large Burn? The nomenclature the of the hegemony. No. That's cool. I always wondered what those initials at the top of the leaderboard meant. Yeah. Well, see ya. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Well, see ya. No. Oh, oh my god, doppeldecker. Decker. Oh! Three oh. doppeldecker. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, look at how smooth Fuck. the graphics are now. Yes. Fuck yes. Oh my god. I'm loving that CRT. Oh yeah. my god. Ah, it's doing oh. a little bit of a wiggle that's uh, not sitting well with me. Yeah, I feel a little sick. Uh, yeah. That's just the doppeldecker kicking in. Oh, I see. I can hold this to go fast. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I'm Why not, am I I'm not loving the... You're eating some Chaos Emeralds there. Ring 25. All right. I don't know what the, what the gems do. Crash, crash, crash. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, they're rupees? I think they're rupees? Yeah, I think they are. All right, I'm glad that this is not the game, because I'm, like, so sick. I feel so sick, but I'm going to try to get them all. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. Even for me. What? You can crash in this game? Oh, all right, hold on, I'm out. Yeah, let me try to talk to him. Oh, yeah, get out of there. smash. <laughs> hey, the... Eve. Do you know Rafi well? Eve. Not really. We have a mutual toleration understanding. That sounds uh, nice. Do they have many of those? No, that's a pretty rare privilege. You gotta respect their boundaries, you know? Dude, I just can't stop looking at the game in the background. Yeah. Rapid Fly Zone. Force. Rapid Force. Fly Zone! It's the same oh. game! Oh no, with the same camera problem. 
I don't understand what I'm trying to do. Why is every Basically, game in this place the same? Ah! Christmas! Same explosion. <laughs> same as guys like Alright. Closed? There's the blue rock. The bane of my day. Where's Tommy mm -hmm. when you need him? I like how it says open and closed. Yeah, what the heck? Mm -hmm. It's cloping. Potions, potions, and magic. I would go in there. Potions, potions, and magic. If I could find a way in. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to do a little ankle breaking up here. What in the hell is this? <laughs> Kermit the God. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's Cthulhu Kermit, man. What in the... Yeah. Dude, no, yeah, Kermit that Thulu. Is there we go. That's the that joke. That is really good. What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna. I, I keep forgetting that we have this zoom in button. Oh, it's quick good. soup colorfish. Quick soup colorfish. <laughs> <laughs> playing a fun game. What game? Quick soup colorfish. Yeah. Okay. Can you zoom in on uh, Kermit the God over there? Absolutely. On King, King Deep. King Kerm. King King. Yeah. Is there a way to? You can't. You can't There's give us not, a little no. bump to the north, can you? Fortunately, no. I don't have a neck in this game. No, there's no neck. Ooh, fish drinks. All right, talking to the dude. Hello. Hello. Yeah, man. Welcome to the fish fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our freshwater catch of the day. What's the catch of the day today? Freshwater. Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. Sounds tasty. Uh, just out of interest. I assume that the homegrown ones fish? must be like grown on board. Tell, man. You know, a few of the ship's fish escaped during the crash. So we don't know if they thrive in the ocean or even intermingle with native species. Dude, that would be horrifying what? as a fish. We can guarantee that yeah. fresh yeah. super grouper taste you know and love. The super grouper. Fish, fish, fish hut. Hello Oops. again. Yeah. Yeah. Be right back. Yeah. 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 Can I talk to this person? Are you in front of you? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Nope. You go down to Gertrude's beer zone, though. Dude, look, look at this. Look at this neon sign. It looks so good. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, Jesus. Remember, it's all water. So all right. good. It's it's just it's just so good. All right, here we go. You're cool, so be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the slippy difference. And if you just watch this <laughs> exciting infomercial, ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi-maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in? Oh, never mind. Hello. How's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. <laughs> You're an I mean, everyman, great, right? <laughs> but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to... Nonsense. Just watch. I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Will I what? ever be able to read to my children or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again? Why, yes, of course you will. With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Burr. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. 
How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold <laughs> arms? My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from loyalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. <laughs> the Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One God, how project. Is it so good. Giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into slippies. Slippies. Heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. Well, what did you think? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> All the little incidental things in this game so high quality they're so high quality sean okay yeah. wait sean which which one do you want to do is slick which which, which one uh, uh uh yeah i like slick i can't tell if that's deliberately insulting but um it was there were lots of things and uh, great so glad you agree and while you're here i was just going Ah, oh, come on. You can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. Oh, my God, yes. It's improved by a little yeah. modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Frieza. Is Frieza! That... Do I have to... Now, this I'm is glad where we're real. It combines precise atmospheric condition synthesis with the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can dream of. That sounds... Uh, wait. Me? <laughs> wait. Skiing? Me? Nonsense. Skiing? I'm sure you're a natural. Now let's get you strapped in. All right. Oh, I'm so ready, dude. Oh, I have controls look now. At, look oh. at you bending. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look at you go. Oh, <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Harold. You were really blown away by it, huh? <laughs> First time's the hardest. It's all downhill what? from there. <laughs> I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. <laughs> I guess so. I'd really better go I don't now. quite understand sure, sure, how that but was just supposed so you know, to go. I run a pretty Me generous neither. referral scheme if you're interested. For every customer you get. Got a dash. Okay, Harold. Be skiing ya. Insane. All right. Okay, so the outdoor winter sports shop in the undersea village is like as bizarre as it seems. Oh yeah, yeah. it's so yeah, wild. It's pretty fucking bizarre. Tim, what do you think about the announcement then? I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all might give us something new to natter about. That new boy thing? What's it going to pick up anyway? Alien radio drama. Not sure, Alon. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. All right, talking to this dirty. more interesting to go sideways. Then. Hey, Tommy. You're I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon. <sighs> or, I mean, I oh. can come back later. Oh, Tommy said. Uh, no, what do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters, and I feel like. You might have one? Shh, quiet! Don't be mentioning Filter Frankie! You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained, or, or legally found, right? Right, sure. That's why I'm here. To legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just then. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to come back another time? It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. 
I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oh. oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. <laughs> Look, kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Not until I think oh. my wife loves me. If you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks? I do! I do know him! What? Yeah. Incredible. She's cheating with Ker... Ker Majesty? <laughs> Alright, so, let me go to my tasks. Yeah, fuck. This game's well written, too. It's... that's rough. It's so good. Well, I mean, th this is the thing, is that, like, I've... So, I think... One of my favorite things I've ever heard about games was uh, from one of my longtime StarCraft friends, Artosis, who said, and I quote, stories don't belong in games. <laughs> Which, <laughs> it's such an extreme statement. But I will say there is a thing that some games that I have played do where they're like, welcome to a game where you can explore everything and do all sorts of stuff and level up and craft. And then someone is just talking to me and I don't get to play the game for like three hours. Mm. Or right when I get some gameplay. I mean, I can't remember who it was who talked about the idea of the momentum killing town that exists in so many RPGs where you start off, you do some cool combat, see some cool stakes, mm. get some cool items, then you get to a town where you're, you're stuck there for five hours talking to people and then you get to go back mm. into the world. And the... Um, I feel like, as, as funny as that is to say, like, this game is the perfect example of the exact opposite of this, where, like, there has not really been a lot of gameplay. Like, I haven't had to solve puzzles or do things. And I'm delighted. Like, look at this scene. Look at the neon light, uh, what says Gertrude's beer zone, and, like, the way that the word zone is angled. Like, you're yep. saying, Lee, like, Slippies is a winter sports store in a ship under the ocean. That's fucking hilarious, yep. man. It's wild. Good shit. That's yep. so good, shit. good. We're actually get, like this has more rich exploration than most games that self-label as like exploratory open world games thus far. It's dense and rich. Like, look, I have to go through this and pass this turkey. I'm Wait, but isn't isn't uh, isn't the teacher back in the jogging area? We should go talk to him. Oh, okay, yeah. Someone put graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Please clean it off. All right. Oh, shit. So I need to talk to Brigitte. Clean up the graffiti. Oh, talk to secretary number eight. Yeah, we don't know who that is, though. Secretary number eight should be the secretary that I was speaking to when I was in trouble. Or the secretary that was giving the comment about the water prices. Hmm. He's not here. Oh, he's not here. Sorry. It's okay. I know where his sofa is. That's true. <laughs> I feel life says the door literally hits you on the way out every time. <laughs> See if I can get it not to. Yeah! That's eSports nice. e moments continue. All right, so I go into this. So we want to go to the... So if I go to Central Station, I can probably talk to Secretary Number 8. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. I mean, it's just everybody always, like, damp and You're slimy here. from using the for choosing all water tube tubes. systems. It's quite a conceit. Is that Secretary I, don't know. I was assuming that that liquid was more like mercury or something. Hello there, little miss. Are you lost? In, in that it would, you like, slowly kill you? Lease. And no, just like, I'm just waiting for someone. Mercury doesn't really get no, you wet. It's lease, like, like a combination of little and miss. just rolls off no, you. No, stupid. It's my name. What's your name? It's Harold. Nice to meet you. Is Harold, like, far and old combined? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is, actually. Can you just leave me alone? I'll yell stranger danger if you don't! <laughs> okay, 
Jesus. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oofta. Okay, I was noticing moons and suns and stuff in the skies. Yeah. I think that's ah, hello their day there. night cycle. Secretary a. Yeah, right. Uh... I think so. Can I help you get where you're going? That's okay. I was actually wondering. Well, I've been speaking to your brothers. Oh, how nice. Which ones? Mr. 17 and Mr. 24. Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yes. Yes, good, loyal, all-water employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's the fourth brother. What happened to him? Oh, well, <clears throat> I do uh -oh. apologize. I've got to see to, uh, matters. But I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Okay, Mr. Eight. All right, so we're going to this secretary now. All water. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water. Location Thank nominated. You. I just don't understand how you make Thank this you as an indie. I don't, I don't get it. Dude, the brothers well, have a flash. I mean, I think you spent yeah. 10 years on it. Yeah, I guess I also want to know what the funding was like for it and stuff. <laughs> Slow and steady, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, get into position. Mr. 24. Hi. Mr. Halibut? So... I was just talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, and <laughs> it was funny. Actually, at first I thought he was your other brother, 8. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. <laughs> do you need <laughs> some Jesus. Yeah. Only that when I spoke to 8 about what 17 said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. Ah, yes. Our ah. wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, Choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, I see. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Yes. Is that why none of you like to talk about him? <laughs> Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together, and we were supposed to stick together. But he didn't study enough. This is a good and way now, to get yes. one model, does he one actor, do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah no, it's very good. Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. I don't know what side quests are like in a graphic adventure game. Yeah. All Water Brother 4. Whoops. No. Get in there. Get in there. I'm out running the camera. All right, so I'm going here, and then the next thing we should do is... Oops, oops. How embarrassing. All water. Moving people every day. <laughs> okay, so where, where's the next place we should we go to? you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Where's the graffiti? Uh, by Moreau outside her lab. So we need to check on Brigitte and give the message to Cyrus. So both of those people are... Oh wait, so um, Brigitte is in the energy district. Wait a minute. I, I see this dude here. Who is who is this dude? Oh yeah, what's he doing? Yeah, sneak around. What's the deal? Nothing at all. <laughs> what's, what? on, what's on the right hand wall? Is that like They a forgot library? to breathe life into him. This one over here? Yeah. I don't know. Let me you zoom in. Zoom. Amazing. Whoa! Jesus Christ. I still don't know. Oh my god, if I hold it a little bit, it zooms a little bit, and if I apply more pressure, it zooms in more. So I can actually Pressure to what? Is this a So if I lift the trigger? Yeah. It's yeah. a trigger. This is the the analog triggers on the PS5. So controller. good. That's amazing. 
All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Haptic zooming. <laughs> Haptic zoomies. All water. We get you where you're going. Try to taste the disinfectant. Please halt for your exit disinfection. Do not try to taste the disinfectant. Do not try to taste the disinfectant. Can you like zoom in and show us like some of those three stuff on the wall? Wait for it. Zero. So good. Look at that so phone. Good. Look at that beautiful Look at that play phone. phone. Look at yeah, that phone. That's fucking wild. Jesus. Oh, get out of here. Toys? Oh Amazing. my god, that is so Fish? good. Incredible. 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 No what way. What is that? Uh oh. Oh, there's Sub a bridge. Right <coughs> and Chris? Uh oh. What are they doing in there? Flirting. I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Hmm, seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying. Mm -hmm. Monster. Okay. Monster. How could you think that after. Everything. Hmm. Ooh, Chris is replying. Let's see. It's because of everything. It's because of Ah, oh, so he's in love with her, but Brigitte loves her. I her good old to say hot boy Tommy. Anyway, <laughs> we should get back before people notice. <laughs> You're gonna turn and just see me. Pretty mysterious. I <laughs> now I wish I'd never skipped. Generalities says you can't lip read, Harold. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Imagine trying to lip read a puppet. What's this way? Oh, dude. Oh, these hi. Sets. Look at these sets. Yeah. Hogular. This. This um, game is like so good at what it's doing that it's making me sort of grumpy. It really you know? sucks to play well-made games on this show. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, it's a like real, it's Outer a real Wilds. Problem. Outer Wilds did that too. It was so good that it made me mad. You know, it's just like, <laughs> come on. Wait, wait. So wait, what, what? What do you mean by it's so good it makes you mad? Because I literally, you were making a point I, I and I just a, made a different point. As a creator, no, it's like as a creator, it's like. It just bugs me because it's it's like, uh, it's the kind of thing where it's like, oh, this is you know how did you do this? Um, it's like I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube video about how you did this. It's like really, <laughs> it's like I don't know. This you, is something you really yeah. put me out. Yeah, yeah, you really you really put me out on this one. Uh, I I heard that people had the same um. I've heard in you know some recorded interviews of guitarists who said that like seeing and hearing Jimi Hendrix play was like some of them they were just like I don't I don't even want to play a guitar anymore. <laughs> 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 like god damn it like yeah. No, I mean I I have absolutely had that feeling when I was like training for a tournament and, like practicing as hard as I could and I was like I'm feeling really confident, I feel like really good. And then like you don't just lose it's like <laughs> you at no point were winning. It was like it was like a twenty minute <laughs> continuous experience of being worse than someone at something. And I'm like, yep. All right, well that guy's better. Uh, well, I guess I'll get pasta tonight. Right? It's just it's like you know, there's just such a disconnect. Because I mean, like with this, <laughs> this is one of those things that is beyond. It took a lot of effort and time. There's like a taste level here that is so high. Like like yeah. Look at this interface. Yeah. Imagine someone said, hey, I want you to make like a digital looking interface thing out of clay. And like, imagine that this is what you produce. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. even even Tonkular Petrix, which is such a funny Tonkular gag. Petrix is so good. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> with with Fetalin <laughs> in there. <laughs> Fetalin Z4. I mean, like this is this is absolutely insane. 
And then, like, the, the fact that behind you would just be like, oh, hey, let's make the back of the chair plaid. Plaid? Oh, yeah, plaid. I mm -hmm. think that a plaid chair would look good. Well, and look at the art that they did on the fucking uh, teapot. Like, you know? Oh, dude. What? It's just too much. That's really good. Oh, my how, God. That's how? Really good little teapot how? Like, there. It's too. It's too good. And it's just oh, like, so oh, you know, we just going? did a sustained, no, a sustained, tough, incredibly every detailed every effort for ten years. Detail is like this. Feel agreed. See? No, uh, it's exactly. Here, here, That's what we're saying. Yeah. Look, look, look. He's noticing. Look He's noticing his I'm world. Having a bit of difficulty with a three D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Brutal, um, Jesus. I hope so too. Correct. We're the anyway, heel of the ship. When your screwdriver can get this uh. printer its third dimension back. Oh my God! Are we gonna do the first puzzle? I hope we do the first puzzle. I mean, this is probably the 3D printer because it says 3D above it. It does. 3D. It does say that. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Oh! 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 Whoa! Oh! I didn't do this one. Fuck? Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Oh! Oh my god! Arm controls. Oh yeah. Doink doink. What? No, what? not this one. Oh, this is so insane. Oh my god. What the shit? Oh my god, I'm terrible. Oh my god. I screwed what all the wrong. What the fuck? Alright, hold on, I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Alright, I mean. No bones at all. Oh god, I screwed the wrong thing. I think you're nearly there. <laughs> I do uh, like that the screws are just falling. Something happened then. Uh, keep going. Yeah. Keep going. All right. Doing good. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me just get this one out of here. I wonder if they're using the physics for that. I guess they probably are. I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's coming! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Ow! Wait, <laughs> what? Ow. Sorry, was the printer even broken? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I'm gonna do this trick the hard way. Ow! Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I like your idea of fun. Hmm. Yeah, wow. Hi. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of This either, guy's eh? awful Harold. to us. Think of it as a, He's a terrible like person. A Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. Well, oh, Moreau does hate this guy. Me. Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Huh. Is it? What? Well, anyway. See you next time, Sai. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Wait, we're gonna fix the printer? Wait, I don't think... I think there was nothing to fix. I think you just want us to shock ourselves. <laughs> Connect with Tommy and clean up the graffiti. I don't like him. He's mean. So no, he's a he's jackass. A mean, he's a mean man. So, I'm very worried that if I hit quit, it will close this entire thing abruptly. Yeah, it might. Oh, it goes to a menu like a normal game. Jesus. Oh, oh my yeah. god, a perfect so 10 good. out of 10. What a fucking good game. You know, I, I will say, good. like, that was a good first two hours of a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. it was really good. Because so often, when there's not gameplay in a game, I get real itchy and the spirit of Artosis rises within me and I say, stories don't belong in games, let me play a game. But like, just wandering around the world, and hearing the dialogue and seeing the, the environments and just like the, the charm and the humor. So good. It was great. Really it's was really good. It could. Oh my god. It, it's like. I guess what's nice is that it's nice to be able to reliably find suggestions for improving 
everything I see, because that's a good skill. I mean, I'm hesitant to say, like, how to... But, but to plus one this thing, I would say, like, you know, can you get some puzzles in there? Yeah. In the first, first half hour, but... But really, I mean, come on, that was awesome. That was so good. It was, like, real I'm good. Curious. Yeah, I don't know if it's a puzzly kind of game. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it might not be. I'm working under an assumption there that it's that it's puzzly. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to yeah. sort of see the direction it takes. Cause I, I'm kind of yeah. interested in the fact that, like, a, I, I feel so many different game genres can be traced back to tabletop RPGs, where before you even had digital anything, you had the crazy exploration, the world, the characters, all these systems for combat, loot, leveling, spells, sort. Like, you just had... 40 systems jammed in there. And if anything was going poorly, the DM's job was to kind of corral shit together. And then when it was translated to digital, how many games just started to distill like singular aspects of that? Sure. To where this game is, it's one step from a visual novel. It's like a visual novel right. plus lots of freeform exploration. Which is... And that's about yeah. it. There's again not really been any puzzles, and a lot of times the exploration of other graphic adventure games, you need to explore to find ways to solve the puzzles, to find new puzzles to solve. Right, 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 right. There has, I mean, just to sort of like a thing about visual novels that they often really lack, in addition to other things is like physics and this game has had some delightful physics yeah. on demonstration even when we're just wandering around and like doing stuff yeah I'm just gonna pull this bang and beat down a little bit but yeah I mean that was great it was great it's really good uh, I'm, well, fa I'm, I'm very interested to see where it goes <laughs> it's just so funny about the like this game like pisses you off where you're like it's a really uh, well done it, character. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> it bugs me. It bugs me when I can't see how I would achieve it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want to know the process by which I would create this game, and so yeah, for sure. Maybe there's maybe there's some some stuff I can research about how they did it. Dude, hell yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. in that case, I'm gonna just go because I I want to watch uh, the next episode of uh, Fallout. Yeah, right, go sweet. for it. Do the thing. Really good. Hell yeah. Well, uh, friendos, hope you have a great night, and I'll see you next week. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>